Great Gunner, representing Great Britain, Pat McConnell. So we move into the men's 69 kilogram welterweight division and there is the tournament number one seed, Pat McCormack, now one win away from Tokyo 2020. In the blue corner, representing Georgia, Eskerkan Matia. And his opponent in the blue corner finds himself in exactly the same position. Eskutkan Madiev from Georgia. So just minutes away potentially from going through to Tokyo 2020. That is how Pat McCormack booked himself here at this quarterfinal stage with a third round stoppage over Hugo Mikalev of Monaco. As for Eskutkan Madiev, it was a 5-0 unanimous decision victory over Adam Fetahovic of Bosnia-Herzegovina. So we've got judges from Sri Lanka, Guatemala, Iran, Cuba and Puerto Rico scoring this one, seated all around the ring using the 10-point must system. So we're underway then, 69 kilogram welterweight action, a winner going through to Tokyo 2020. Boxers from England and Georgia contesting this one. And for the second consecutive time in this tournament, Pat McCormack facing a familiar foe and for former opponent. Very much a case of deja vu here in the French capital. Because these two men faced off at the quarterfinal stage of the European Union European Championships in Valladolid in Spain in 2018. And on that occasion, it was McCormack who prevailed en route to top spot on the podium. That contest came at the quarter-final stage, McGrail, McCormack prevailing on a 5-0 unanimous points decision victory. Always a little benefit to have, knowing that you've got a victory over your opponent when you face off again. But let's not forget the occasion, Ron, like we said yesterday. It changes the dynamics of everything, so... Beautiful left jab scored by McCormack just a few moments ago. Madiev came forward but couldn't find a range with his own combination. Physical on the inside, causing the intervention of the referee, approaching the midpoint of this opening round. Good right hand to the body by Madiev after his left jab upstairs fell short. Both boxers producing very good displays in their round of 16 affairs. McCormack was razor sharp and Madiev scored with some really accurate hurtful body shots both both guys were very very good previously and this is about that we knew would be top quality stuff after watching both their previous performances McCormack looked brilliant in his last contest Left-right combination is effective, and then look jab. at that for a broom handle of a left jab from Pat McCormack. Straightened it Straight out and right. jolted the man's head back. Good right hand to the body in return from Mariev. Right hand over the top from McCormack after he measured his man with his left hand. Madiev trying to get over that front foot. McCormack moving laterally both left and right, backs up to cause the man in blue to fall short. And then the tables turned and McCormack helping himself to a free <laughs> shot after the ref called stop. Got out of that corner very nicely as well, McCormack. Bent at the waist and turned Madiev as he escaped for the corner. Madiev lands a good jab. Beautiful left jab from Pat McCormack, catching the advancing boxer in blue. And then an exchange, finishing with a right Slack. uppercut from Pat McCormack on the back foot, just as the bell sounded. Very skillful round of boxing in this bout where the stakes are incredibly high. That lovely jab from McCormack that he's used throughout. Mariev tries one in return, but McCormack's there with the counter right hand. 
Great feet work as well, displayed by McCormack there. And very, very sharp attacks before darting out of range. And, and McCormack taking the opening round unanimously. All five scoring judges preferring the work of the tournament number one seed. So into the second round then, Eska Kamadiev ranked equal number 59 in the world. Pat McCormack is the world number one. Madiev, six-time, excuse me, seven-time national champion of Georgia. His most recent title coming in 2019. Looking for that right hand over the top. Scores with a good left jab with McCormack. Had his back to the ropes. McCormack quickly claims his man, turns him around, and now he's looking to work away as he backs him up towards the ropes. Good job there from Madiev. Fast hands from McCormack. Getting four shots off. In very little time, Marayev choosing to pick single shots. Well, he's not going to have a lot of success with single shots, in my opinion, Ronnie. He really has to try to put shots together. McCormack, a brilliant counter puncher. Equally good on the back foot as he is on the front foot. Oh, what a looping left hook landed by McCormack. It was long, and it caught the man on the end of the shot. Looked for the same punch once again, but it was perhaps blocked, perhaps blocked by the right glove of Medev. Medev comes back with a straight right hand to the body, looking for the same shot once again, and then goes downstairs with a straight left to the torso of the man in red. Trying to slow McCormack up with those body shots there. Turned off the line again. McCormack so very good at that, getting himself back to the centre of the ring. Very intelligent boxing. So Medev trying to burrow away with body punches. McCormack walking him all the way back across the ring, but then a reverse one-two right left from Medev after McCormack just appeared to lose concentration for a moment, perhaps yeah. anticipating an interruption from the ref. Possibly, because he never normally lets his guard down like that, but Medev took full advantage of it, and rightly so. There was no stop, break or box from the referee. Three-shot combination, the final left hand snaking around the rear of the right glove from McCormack. Wonderful accuracy as he walks him back to the ropes again, right uppercut, left hook, and then a jolting left jab as Medev tries to come back to the space of ring centre. Terrific portion of the round for the man in red, engaging reverse gear, tucking up behind his right shoulder. Escapes from the corner, his own corner, and just waves that right hand in showboating fashion just to show his opponent that he feels it in control. Yeah. But Medev comes back with a scoring left jab. Right uppercut success once again from McCormack. McCormack boxing very well now. Turns so well out those corners. Well, he's left. the man in control now for me, Ron. McCormack boxing very, very well now. Found a rhythm and a little bit of... Class. Putting his opponent on the end of straight punches just before that inter intervention from the referee. Very good round of boxing. Medev with some success of his own, but Pat McCormack, the governor, over the course of that three minutes for my money. Grew in confidence so much after the first minute of that second round there. He just grew in confidence throughout. You really notice that in his performance as well. Let's see some of these repeats. Mariev had success with a straight right hand to the body. Caught McCormack on the bounce when he wasn't paying attention. But for the second consecutive round, it's a clean sweep in favour of Pat McCormack. Judge one scoring it 10-8, which is perhaps a little bit harsh on this man because he was competitive, yep. didn't He's win the round, but was certainly in the round. Certainly was in the round. So into the third and final round then, and the boxer wearing blue, Eskakan Medev, the 2017 European Under-22 Championship gold medalist at welterweight. The year before that, he took European youth gold. So again, he's enjoyed continental success in the age classification ranks. Here he is 
up with the big boys and he's acquitting himself very well but he's trailing by 20 points to 18 for four scoring judges 20 points to 17 for judge one after McCormack has taken both completed rounds unanimously and he is simply oozing confidence up there in this a return bout against the man he faced in the 2018 EU championships Cormac looking to progress through to his second Olympic Games, having competed in Rio in 2016. His brother's already progressed through from this European qualification event here. Luke McCormack. And Peter McCormack just has to keep it, excuse me, Pat McCormack just has to keep his concentration here. Avoid any injuries and not run into a finishing blow from Madiev, and he will be going through to his second Olympic Games. Yeah, he has to say switched on, Ron, all the way through here. Good defence there, rolling his shoulders in both directions. And all of this, we'll see the seconds continue to tick away. McCormack just stealing a glance at the clock in the arena here at La Grand Dome, and then he got back to work with accurate punches between the gloves of the man in blue. And Medeev cannot sustain the pressure or launch the assaults that he needs to because McCormack demonstrating terrific ring craft, tying him up on occasion, increasing the gap so that Medeev can't find his range. And he is managing this third round wonderfully. Yeah, he's looking so relaxed now as well, isn't he? Not uptight anymore. He knows what's taking place now. He's got a great rhythm going. You'll see some flashy stuff from Pat McCormack towards the end of this bout, I would imagine, knowing that he's got a really comfortable lead. Good left hook in the, is the final shot of that three-punch combination from McCormack. Jolting left jab off yep. the back foot as well from the man in red. Punch Losing him. seconds, he has to remain switched on. He has to, he has to remain switched on. Punch him from a high guard while going backwards as well. He really can do it all, McCormack. He's, he's got a little bit of everything, Ron. Oh, there's the 10-second clapper as we approach the final belt. Beautiful right hand from McCormack once again. Drops his hands, gets up on his toes, takes a couple of punches. But another round in the book. Mutual Very respect. good boxing from Pat McCormack. And nice to see that show of sportsmanship between the two boxers. Pat McCormack acknowledging his opponent's corner and the referee before raising that right fist in acknowledgement of the announcement which will send him through to Tokyo 2020. Joining his brother. Parents will be immensely proud. So let's get the official verdict. Pat McCormack, all smiles. So Pat McCormack becomes a two-time Olympian. He prevails in the quarter-final contest here to punch his ticket through to Tokyo 2020, and he makes it a family affair. He produces a dazzling display to secure his passage to the Summer Olympiad, joining his identical twin Luke, who achieved the same accomplishment earlier in the tournament. And the identical twins from Tyne and Weir will be heading for Tokyo later this summer. Very good display indeed. Pat McCormack will now look to get as deep as possible into this tournament to positively impact his seeding. As for Eskakan Madiev, he enters the realm of the box-off. So there you see it, all five rounds scored from all three judges, excuse me, all three rounds from all five judges yeah. scored in favour of McCormack. 30-26 by Judge One as well, who gave a 10-8 round. Brilliant stuff from Pat.